for me, the real joy of working in Yt Out of Press is what we call living this world of the digital handmade. So it's showing that technology is not actually a sequence of disruptions, but a sequence of continuities. And so that the printed text in my world of lead and wood is not usurped by the sudden advent of 3D printing, the revolution of the digital, but it's all part of a continuity. So what we like to do at YT Out of Press is expose the hybrid nature of those relationships between text technologies, uh, between different time periods, and really see how can you inject a sort of aesthetic dimension into that creative process that you wouldn't be able to get any other way. It's a foible of our kind of human sense of things that we actually often enjoy uh, or find aesthetically pleasing that which is not exactly the same every time. So it's often the kind of the quirks or the small intentional aesthetic choices that are made by a craftsperson or an artist um, that, that we find the most interesting or engaging. Uh, and so in, in both of these cases, with both the ink printing press and the 3D printing press, I think it's very interesting to challenge people's ideas of what it means to automate a process or to you know, um, take away the fact that we're not doing it, you know, we're not carving it by hand with a small chisel, for instance. But it, uh, no less is the artist involved or the craftsperson involved in both of these processes. So not only are we seeing an interplay between old and new, but we're seeing an interplay between kind of tool and craftsperson, uh, man and machine, if you will. The fact that they're not perfect but still remain a human process is quite interesting to me.